Hello filmmakers, it's Carrie with Filmmaker Central and we have another video about DaVinci Resolve 18 and this one is probably a little less interesting than the others but I think it has a really really big place in this release and that's the new proxy generator. Now I've seen forum posts about like, what is this? You know, this doesn't even seem to apply to most people. What is the proxy generator? First, let's run it. So I'm gonna to go to my applications and it's not in the DaVinci Resolve folder. It's up here by itself, the Blackmagic proxy generator. So the first thing it's gonna ask is for a folder, right? And I'm gonna to go to uh, my desktop my Filmmaker Central folder and just select open. All right. Now, what we can see here is there's a processing line, there's proxy formats, and there's watch folders. So let's talk about that. So what the proxy generator can do, well, it can do, let's say it can do two things. First, it will create your proxies for you. Now, if you're, not used to using proxies and you don't need to, well then you don't need this tool. I mean, pretty simple. This right here is a MacBook Pro M1 Max, 64 gigs of RAM. I have not needed to use proxies. Oh, don't care. I may never use this tool. Now I might run into some footage that doesn't play back smooth on here. Hard to believe, it's possible. Right, And if so, then I, I would use proxies. On my older machine, an Intel-based machine, it wouldn't play back some of my footage, just butter smooth. In which case, I would do optimized media. And then when I could create proxy footage, I used that. It worked extremely well. Uh, now, I didn't use DaVinci Resolve to create my proxies. I used Edit Ready. It was like a $39 tool. It was very fast. It worked quite well. Um, this eliminates that in two different ways. One is I can just open up a folder in here and extract the proxies. Great. And now there's not a lot of options here. You have H.264 8-bit, H.264 8-bit uh, 420. I guess you have half res, 1080p, 265 10-bit, 420, 1080 and ProRes 422 10 bit 422 1080. Okay, so there's four different options. Maybe they'll add more. I don't know. Why isn't there ProRes 422 proxy? Maybe that is 422 proxy. I don't know. Um, there's not a lot of information about this, but on this machine, this machine right here, H265 10 bit 420 1080, this will eat this footage for lunch. It will just not hesitate at all. I mean, it doesn't hesitate at 4K footage either. 1080, it's just gonna just blow through it. Again, I'm not, I don't need it on here, but I'm gonna show you what this tool is all about. So uh, that's the tool standalone, right? It can open up a folder, extract the proxies for you. And it does it really fast on this machine. Now the other thing it can do is do it automatically. So right now I have the tool running and I can go up here and just hide it and never see it. It'll just be in the background. And if I put something into that folder, it will process it automatically. Let me show you that. So I'm watching this Filmmaker Central folder. Let's open that up here on the desktop. I have some footage here. You can see it's created proxy folders in these. Uh, there's one, it's got proxy footage in there. All right, so I'm gonna grab a folder from my external drive. And uh, okay, this one's got some GoPro and Mavic 3 footage. Okay, good. I'll just drop that over here. Oh, I hadn't hit start, so uh, you have to hit start for it to start watching that folder and to do its thing. So 
it's still copying footage into this folder and it's already processing the files that are there. Pretty cool. Now look at the middle of that screen there. It's doing this at 294 frames per second. It is hauling buns <laughs> converting this footage for proxies. So if you have a super fast machine and the footage that you're working on is not giving you any playback problems, you don't need this tool. If you have a slower machine or you just have huge footage or for whatever reason, the codec, it's, it's slowing down your machine. Well, then proxies are going to speed up your workflow. It's going to speed up your, not your workflow, because this is going to be part of your workflow, but it will speed up your editing and color grading process. So in that regard, this is a very cool tool anytime that you need to create proxies. Now, I might get to some point where I know that some new camera that I get, I, I just, for whatever reason, I need to use proxies on it. That's the only one I need to drop into this folder. The rest of it, I don't need to because I, I, it works fine in DaVinci Resolve. So you can pick and choose what you want it to automatically convert by having this watch folder. And you can have multiple watch folders. So you can have one on a network drive. You can have one on um, a local drive. Now where this really gets interesting is in the new collaboration tools, right? So let's say you have a Dropbox that you're watching and the editor or whatever is dropping the full high res footage into there. Well, your machine isn't as fast, so it's gonna see that and convert the proxies for you. You come to sit down to work and it's all done. Now look at this, completed on this date, 17 files, 262 frames per second. Absolutely amazing. So let's go into that folder there and uh, let's take a look at the, like this file here, 2.53 gigs, that's 856. Let's go in here, let's find 856, 159 megs. So huge reduction in file size. And if, if we look at that, all right. We're still here at... We, we, there's no huge drop in image quality for editing purposes and even uh, some color grading purposes. This is going to be fine. Now, color grading can fall apart if your bit depth changes. But if we look at the options here in um, the proxy format, we can maintain 10-bit color. So even though we're dropping to 1080, if we're maintaining 10-bit, we're not gonna have a problem color grading those proxies. If we started with 10-bit footage and we convert it to 8-bit color, well then our grade isn't gonna look the, the same. Um, we may be trying to fight things like banding and yet it wouldn't have been a problem with the original source footage. So you gotta kinda know your source material, what your proxies are gonna look like, what are you using it for? Are you using it for editing? Are you using it for visual effects? or you're using it for color grading. So that could be an issue, um, in which case you're just gonna wanna stick to 10-bit. So I think for a lot of people, this proxy generator, not only is it going to create proxies for you to make it easier to work, the fact that it can just sit there in the background and process stuff as soon as it pops up into a folder, that's what I think is super cool. So if you didn't understand the Blackmagic proxy generator before now, hopefully you do. And um, I'm going to do more videos on Resolve 18, but I'm trying to do ones that other people aren't, right? Uh, everyone's doing the, the surface mapper, which is cool. And I'll do a video on it and some of the other stuff, but I'm trying to focus on the, the lesser known things so that you understand what they're all about. So thanks for watching, everybody. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.